Okay, so while we have a break in the action, I'm gonna give you a tip on how to keep your sand fleas alive for a weekend of fishing. I'm gonna say the way to go is a styrofoam cooler. I looked online and uh, they say a five gallon bucket, but, um, or even if you have a small cooler like this that, that you wanna just kinda set aside for bait, uh, this might not be a bad way to go. Um, you know, cause this is uh, what I've been doing is actually keeping them in my cooler in a cool place and when mama will allow me wifey i will actually keep them inside um like in a you know just in a corner that's kind of out of the way but one thing i do i will tell you is that they will start to smell a little bit after a couple of days so you want to keep your sand fresh um so what i'm actually going to do right now if you're looking for a way to do that uh, one thing that i've learned is that i can actually dump my whole cooler of sand fleas in my net that is actually smaller in diameter than the actual sand fleas are so it allows me to cheat. So let me see if I can do this here without making a mess. All right, so here's my net. I've just kind of placed it nicely on the ground. And here's my cooler. And we're just gonna dump these sand fleas right in here. Just like that. So now, so now you can see with those nicely in my net, I can dip my net in the water, get rid of my sand. Just like that. You can see I have a good amount of bait. I just actually got these. So you can see I'm doing good on bait, right? So with that, now we go back, dump our bait back in our bucket. But what I'm going to do before I even dump it back in there is I'm going to rinse my cooler out. So cooler rinse, stand by for that. All right, so one cooler rinse complete. So you can see I got all that gunk out of there, everything that will be smelly. And now we come back and we just dump our sand fleas back in here. Let me see if I can do this without making a huge mess. So I'm just lifting up on my net. And we're getting those back into the cooler. So you can see nice and fresh. I know in your, in your mind you would think when you're keeping these that you would actually want wet sand, but that's not true. So you can see here, we have dry sand up here, and this is actually what you want. So I'm just gonna scoop up some of this dry sand, you know, just like that with your hand, and just enough to cover them up real good. And they're gonna be good and happy for a few days. And they're not gonna be stinky because we just changed them out. Changed out their dirt. So they're gonna be nice and fresh and happy for a few days. And since I'm gonna be fishing very likely for the next three days in a row, <laughs> this is gonna be plenty of bait for me. And I'm gonna do a good job of keeping them alive. And I might even freeze some because I actually am curious to see how they do when frozen. So you can see I got a good mess of sand in there so they can play around and forage and do all the things that sand fleas do or mole crabs depending on where you are. I think I've heard them called mole crabs when thinking of people in the west. But there you have it. That's how you keep your sand fleas fresh. So you can see you have your little net with your small mesh, your styrofoam cooler, and then of course you can see my lid down here laying on the side. But uh, that's how I'm going to keep these bait fresh for a weekend of fishing. All right, so hopefully that helps someone. And uh, as always, be kind to the fish.